Welcome to another watch review. This time it's for the Bulova 97B122, which is part of the Precisionist line and is a chronograph. Now, Bulova is a great American watch company that can trace its roots back to 1875, eventually being bought by Citizen Watch Company in 2007. Over its long history can be credited with many innovations within the watch industry, including the original Accutron watch in the 1960s, which is considered the world's first electric watch. If you don't know anything about the Accutron, I'd encourage you to look into it. It's a very interesting watch with an interesting history. It actually utilized a tuning fork and is considered a precursor to the modern day quartz watches. Now the 97B122 is part of its Precisionist line and uses the Precisionist movement. The Precisionist movement which was introduced around 2010. Now what makes the Precisionist movement special is that it introduced a number of new innovations which give the watch incredible accuracy and can be considered one of the world's most accurate quartz watches with a precision of plus or minus 10 seconds a year rather than month of a normal quartz watch. The reason this watch is so accurate is that it utilizes a very special quartz crystal, where a normal quartz crystal will have two prongs. This actually has three prongs and vibrates about eight times faster, around 262 kilohertz. The watch also monitors the temperature's crystal and regulates it in order to maintain accuracy as well. Another thing that makes this watch line special is that they all include a sweeping second hand similar to automatics. Now before we begin, I would like to point out that this watch was picked up second hand and does not currently have its original strap on it, and instead has a replacement strap that I put on it that matches the original style. Now as you can see, the watch features a black dial with a beautiful rose gold case. It has rose gold hands and Arabic rose gold numerals. With four subdials at the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock position, which are utilized for the chronograph. The watch has a small date window with a white background at the 430 position. It also includes the bull of a name as well as the classic tuning fork logo on the 12 o'clock subdial. The watch also features a very large crown at the 3 o'clock position. The replacement strap, just like the original strap, is a black leather, and both of which featured rose gold hardware. The back of the watch is a high polished stainless steel, which features both the Bulova and the Precisionist logos. Now the main feature of this watch is a chronograph, which supposedly is accurate to one one thousandth of a second, which in some ways is kind of silly because even if the watch is that accurate, your finger pushing the button is not. Now to engage the chronograph, you push the button at the 8 o'clock position and you can see the second hand sweep to the 12 o'clock. You then push the button at the 2 o'clock position to start the chronograph. One of the things you'll notice is the dial at the 12 o'clock position, the two hands are going absolutely crazy. You can push the button again to stop it and see how much time has elapsed, with the dial at the 12 o'clock position showing you the fractions of a second, the dial at the 3 o'clock position showing you hours, the dial at the 9 o'clock position showing you how many minutes, and the dial at the 6 o'clock position showing you the 1 1,000th of a second. To reset, you push the button at the 4 o'clock position. As you can see, the second hand is sweeping back to the 12. To move the watch out of the chronograph mode, push the button on the left side again, and you'll see the second hand then sweep around to catch up to whatever the current time actually is. Now this is a rather large watch, with a case diameter of about 47 millimeters, without the crown and close to 50 millimeters with the crown. And an overall thickness around 14 and a half millimeters. With the watch band width being about 22 millimeters. Now as for my opinion on the watch, I think it's a very beautifully designed watch with a very classic, elegant style, similar to a dress watch. But that's where things get a little confusing, as a dress watch is normally going to be a little smaller and a little thinner, and this watch is sort of a behemoth. And for me personally, a little rose gold goes a long way, and this is a lot of rose gold. For example, here's the watch on my wrist, which is about 7 inches. It's not too bad, but it's definitely on the big side, at least for my wrist, or at least for my personal taste. But as I said, the watch is very beautiful and very elegant looking. 
I do believe that if the watch was a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner, I would absolutely love it. But I'm not really sure that's possible given the limitations of the current precisionist movement. Its quartz crystal that vibrates eight times faster than a normal crystal, as well as the sweeping second hand, must have a high battery drain. Thus, they must include a larger battery, which would explain why the watch is so wide and so thick. I really want to like the design of the watch, but in the end, I think it's just too big for me. Now, I do believe that Belova has introduced a new line in movement called the Accutron 2, which is very similar to the Precisionist line, but with reduced accuracy. I believe that with that reduced accuracy includes a reduced battery drain, thus the watches can be a little smaller. All in all, the 97B122 is a very beautiful and very interesting watch, with a classic style but a little bit larger size than I personally would be used to. I would encourage anyone to look at it and see if it matches their own personal style. The sweeping second hand, as well as the high precision, is almost unheard of in quartz watches. In the end, it's a watch that gives you the ease of quartz, but has features that even watch enthusiasts can appreciate. It'll be very interesting to see what Belova and Citizen will do with the technology in the future. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe for more watch reviews as they come.